Hey folks, I uh, picked up these two monitors. They were dumped on the curb uh, on trash day. And the one is actually a TV. This one here, the Insignia. You can see right there, that's a TV. And this one here, MSI, looks like a monitor. It's one of those curved displays. I don't know if you can tell, but it is curved on top here. And I thought, okay, let's see what's going on. Now, remember, I picked these up at night. I didn't see this at the time. That's a dead giveaway. The screen looked good. When you don't see anything on it, you can't really tell. But yeah, there's something going on there. This one was covered in uh, dirt. There's a scratch here, but it's almost not noticeable. Let's have a look and see uh, what, what the, we got here. I did manage to plug this into the computer. Let's turn it on. It works, no problem. Let's turn that on and see. It's just booting up now. It was missing a power supply. It uses a 12 volt, five amp or three amp, uh, but I have a five amp thing in there. And there it is. Okay, here, sorry, that's just uh, YouTube doing its thing here. It's, I'm playing a, uh, there, that's it there. It also has, uh, so great image quality. I don't have a remote for this thing either. So, uh, it takes it has a TV tuner. I don't really care if that works. I'm not planning to use the TV tuner at all in it uh, HDMI input and VGA so it's acting like a good monitor and it also has a built-in speaker I'm gonna turn up the volume quickly uh, But without I don't want to content match uh, or copyright to anything on YouTube. So here we go Okay, there you go. That's the sound Okay so the sound works a treat. Now, this screen, on the other hand, is messed up. Now, I'm going to turn it on. There's some buttons down here. As you can see, there is a light here. When it comes on, is it coming on? Let me turn it there. See the blue light there? That's the display. And then it turns off. So... It's obviously messed up. It has it's a, has a nice stand. I mean, I like the fact that it's got this uh, this thing right here. I wonder if I can get that. This didn't come with a stand, unfortunately. So I have it leaning have it leaning on my other thing here, my other monitor. So um, if I can somehow take this apart and get that stand uh, mounted onto the other one, that would be good. Just have to put together some kind of adapting. Uh, thing. Uh, let's see what inputs are on the back here. We do have an HDMI and DVI and DP. I don't display port basically. So there is no uh, VGA input. So I kind of don't even like this monitor necessarily uh, at this point. I need to get an HDMI feed into it to see if it even works. But as you can see when it turns on, I'm not sure why it's turning off. It probably, I'm sure it doesn't detect that the LCD is cracked, but it could be that when it doesn't see an input, it turns off. So I'm gonna turn it like that on again. See the blue light? This thing here probably is the display, uh, you know, like the menu or whatever in the middle. And then as you can see, see that's on. It does that and then it dies. So I don't think I'm gonna waste my time with the MSI because uh, obviously with the screen that's cracked, it's useless, it's garbage. But I like this Insignia monitor and if I can find a remote for it, that would be nice. I'll be able to at least get, uh, you know, play around with the volume settings and things like that because I can't adjust the volume on this thing. It's set to some default volume and I can only adjust it on YouTube here. All right, so just a quick look at a couple of monitors dumped on garbage day, 50-50 chance of getting something that's usable. And I'm gonna see if I can put the stand from the MSI onto this one, and that's it. I don't know why they threw this one out. It looks perfectly good, but I guess they upgraded to a different size and I didn't need it. All right, I managed to uh, plug in an HDMI video source into this MSI monitor that had the crack. As you can see there, it's obviously buggered up completely. The screen is messed up, the LCD. It's cracked right there. 
and you can see the whole thing is lit up. The power works fine. It was turning off before because it wasn't getting an input signal, but now that you see there's HDMI coming in, um, it's basically useless. Can't use the screen. The LCD is broken. And here's another view of that MSI monitor. I just took the lid off the back, basically pried off. I was able to un unhook it just in case you wanted to know what it was. It's MSI LED monitor, Optics G24C. Okay. Uh, so what do we have? A power supply here. This should be in fairly good working order. Uh, it's got a lead coming out to the main uh, processing board here. That takes all the inputs. There's probably the chip there. This is the display circuitry here running up to all of the elements. Unfortunately, the screen is busted as we saw earlier. There's a crack in it, so it's useless. But I was thinking to maybe use the stand, which is a nice nice looking stand. I could maybe adapt this to a VESA. Uh, this thing comes off, I can unscrew it from this and perhaps I can use it. It would be nice if it was able to mount to VESA somehow. Uh, or I could just pick up a cheap vase amount for the uh, for the other insignia monitor. But other than that, there's really nothing on this back end I can use. Power supply, maybe I can get something out of these leads. You know, there's probably uh, some five volt rails, maybe a 12 volt rail in here. I can always measure the voltages, although it could be one of those power supplies that, you know, if it doesn't get the desired signal back from the board, it might just turn the thing off. So I may be not even able to use this thing independent of this board. Um, we'll have to see. But anyway, there you have it. Just a quick look at the inside of the MSI monitor. And let's see if there's any more information here. HKC Corporation, any kind of date code here? I don't see anything. When was this built? We don't see anything here either. Um, nothing on here, as far as I can tell. Interesting. Nothing here. There's a few part numbers here. But yeah, no, not really much in the way of when this thing was built. Not at all. 1912-19120, I don't know. I can't tell anything about this as far as when it was made. So I'm sure it's not that old, but it's a shame that it broke. Okay, I managed to pull apart more of the screen of this MSI. Just wanted to show you the layers here, it's fascinating. You've got your actual display, which is here. It's extremely thin, look at that. Really, really thin. Okay, so that's it there. You can see the uh, damage on the back. You see the crack there? You can see it right there. In any case, there's a kind of diffusion uh, mask here. You see? This thing here. See it uh, evens things out, the light. Under that is another layer. Another, some kind of diffusion grating here, you see? Then there's another one here. That's another layer. And there's another layer. And you've got um, this, basically a light pipe. This thick piece of plastic. You'll see that it's sitting on top of a whole row of LEDs at the bottom there. See, a strip running all the way across. So that picks up the LED light and it passes through and it does, it's bouncing through all these layers and then there's another white sheet behind all that, which is what you're seeing here. And that's it there, that's the back. Okay, so you've got whatever this is, kind of like a rough backing. The light pipe right there. And then one, two, three, four, and then finally the panel, 
which is this thin thing here. So there you have it. It's a quite fascinating uh, build here. It's amazing how thin they make this and how much of it is, uh, you know, in there. But uh, yeah, no, it's really cool. I'm not sure if any of this thing can be salvaged. Obviously, the panel itself is is completely gone, gone ski, and uh, it's. Yeah, it's so th it's very thin plastic, uh, sorry, not plastic, but glass. And it's laminated on the surface. The outside has, a, if you can see there, uh, there's another layer of something on top. That's why it hasn't just completely fallen apart. So, uh, but once that happens, that's the end of the board, pretty much. You can't get anything else out of this. You can see all the, the pixels. Let's be zoom in here, right? See all the little pixels. You can see along there all of the uh, the rows uh, running along the side of the screen. See that? And then it's connecting up here to the uh, those flat flex cables that run the signal into the board, into the panel, I should say. So uh, yeah, very amazing construction. And here's the liquid crystal display. So that's the panel right there. You can see it's flat, very, very thin. Pull it up against the sun. And there's the liquid crystal in action. You can see here, there's a, this is probably the polarizing filter on top and bottom of this uh, thing. And that's why it blocks out the sun everywhere else. You can see it's pretty much black, but here, where it's messed up, the it lets light through. So that's where the crack was on the side, but that's not the issue because once it cracks, there's a conductivity um, is completely ruined within the whole panel and then it ruins all the other lines. So you can't get any display on it. It's just not, not just this part, but across the entire screen because the elements uh, don't pan go through. And then attached to the bottom part, you can see, of course, the uh, all of this control boards circuitry stuck to the bottom. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.